A raft of new measures are being implemented to curb the local drinking culture. Dunedin Mayor Dave Carl is involved in citywide efforts to reduce alcohol-related harm and he joins us to discuss what's happening. Good evening. Good evening. What is the problem with Dunedin's drinking culture? I think the same problem with New Zealand's drinking culture actually right across the country. We tend to drink too much, we binge drink and I think that we have this, in some quarters anyway, attitude that you drink to get drunk mm. and uh, that tends not to have good results. Mm. How will the new local alcohol policy change that? The new alcohol policy, the whole point about local alcohol policies is that they're developed for the community they're in. So although our drinking culture is probably got the same problems as all over the country. We have some differences about the way the city is and one of the big differences is that we have a large cohort of very young people all concentrated in the north end, the tertiary students. They don't behave any differently from anyone else, there's just a lot more of them. Mm. So what that leads to is um, a lot of drinking outside bars uh, f from cheap uh, off-license alcohol and then that can lead to problems in the bar area when people arrive uh, pre-loaded. Uh, so the local, one of the main things we did, uh, we're proposing is to make off licence hours 9am to 9pm to stop that or to try and curb that pre-loading culture. Mm. And what's your reaction to the new BYO Accord? I think it's a really positive step. It, it gives, I mean the, the, the restaurant owners have responsibility under the law for what happens in their, uh, in their uh, cafes and restaurants. So what it does is it gives them, empowers them to, uh, to take measures that protect themselves and their premises. So, and it's not asking anybody to behave in ways that they oughtn't to. Hmm. And you're involved in discussions about the student drinking culture. What's yeah. happening there? What's happening there is that both the university and the council are behind the scenes pulling together some of the possible measures that we might take uh, to uh, make people safer, and to curb some kind, some aspects of behavioural issues. We're going to get together with the university, the councillors, look at what things we can support and then we'll get the wider group of stakeholders in to see what else other stakeholders can contribute to the conversation. Are you worried about Dunedin having a reputation as a boozy city? Yeah, I, as, a, as I said earlier, I don't think that we have any more alcohol problems than anywhere else, but it does get more media attention mm. if there's an incident and that goes right around the world. So mm. yeah, it's, that, issue, that image issue is, is a problem for Dunedin, I think. Are these efforts just the beginning or is it just the start of something? Oh, look, I think that community attitudes are changing. I mean, you mentioned that various things have changed. There's the BYO Accord, we've got a new LAP uh, that we're proposing, but also the government's re recently changed the law about blood alcohol limits for driving. So I think there's a, a general rising in consciousness that the community needs to do something. And we, you can't change things overnight and it's a problem we've all got to own. So it's just different measures by different agencies. Mm. What do you expect to happen in the long term? I would, well, I don't know what I expect to happen, but I know what I'd like to happen. I'd like a more sophisticated attitude by all of us to drinking so that the focus is more on food, on entertainment in, the, in a lot of places and not just, um, uh, you know, just drinking cheap alcohol for the sake of it. And we've got some great precedents. We've got some really good craft beers made in, New in Dunedin. So we've got, we've got a basis for, and great wine coming out of central Otago. So we've got the basis for some sophisticated, high quality uh, drinking. Dunedin Mayor Dave Cull, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.